All right, so we're going to do a quick update on the uh, renovations of the old tar paper shack. This is going to be a look inside, uh, maybe the lesser romantic side of uh, homesteading, a slightly more real approach. You'll see often on YouTube there'll be homesteading this and homesteading that. In the first part of the video, we'll start out with this mind-blowing drone footage coming in. Awesome yurt or a cabin built on the side of a lake, two million dollar piece of property, and and uh, a wacky zany male jumps out this way, and then a wacky zany female jumps out over this way, and they say, "My name's Ian, and I'm Tina, and together we're the wacky zany homesteading couple." <laughs> this is uh, not one of those videos. This is like the uh, the more realistic side of survival homesteading, we'll call it. So let's take a look around. So where we're standing right now, this is the upstairs of our house. Our house is super small. It's only 12 by 16. And uh, this is, like I said earlier, the upstairs. We have a 12-12 pitch on the end and a couple of shed dormers to give us some extra room. We're insulating with straw. You can see it all sticking out everywhere. And also, you can just see it looks like a barn up here. But yeah, so we've been, it's really hard to live in the same space that you're, you're trying to, uh, to work in. But sometimes that's unavoidable. In this situation, it was unavoidable. But this is our bed. This is where we sleep. We just cut a hole in that wall over there. We're going to build a nice little balcony out there. And, and uh, yeah, so that's what's going on. This is some of the wood that we've been milling up down in my brother's mill. We harvested all these trees off of uh, a right-of-way that they have cut down the road here. It's about an hour-plus tractor ride to get the logs from that. So, yeah, the, all the, everything that we're doing is basically free from necessity and also because the resource is just sort of laying around. But let's go take a look downstairs. So that is our stairs. They're still a work in progress right there. And uh, you can see as we put the boards on the wall, we put everything up green and let it dry in place. And you can see the gap starting to form right here. But we're going to put a strip over that, like an inch and a half strip will cover all that. So we just put it up and let it dry out. That way it's dry and these have stabilized and they're not going to keep moving when we put our strip over it. So it won't rip the strip and move it and, and be all funky and nasty. Anyways, yeah, so that's that. And here is our actual stair treads and skirt boards right here. This is some walnut that we moved up. We got from that same location where they cut down that right away for the power line. Got this in here dry, and that's going to be the stair treads for our stairs back over here. Let's take a look in the kitchen. So this is our new kitchen. Again, it's really hard... You'll notice that just, I mean, just tragic clutter and uh, massive amounts of disorganization just everywhere you can see. But this is where we live, so we can't really do anything about that. We're trying to work through that, navigate through that the best we can. Anyways, let's get back to the kitchen. So, we have spent our life savings on a wood stove, a wood cook stove that's going to go right here. And we don't have it in yet, as you can see, because there's complications. We have to put the flooring down, then we have to put the wood stove in, and we have to build the bar after that because the wood stove won't fit in between the gap here. So it's always uh, juggling, you know, confusing things like that. But that's where the wood stove is going to vent out right there. This is our sink is going to go in over here. And this is going to be like kind of our food prep, baking area, whatever. We're not, we don't have enough room for a dining room table, so this bar that's going to go right here is going to have to suffice for that. And we're going to have, let's pan around to the living room. Here we are in the living room. <laughs> and uh, we're going to do a built-in couch right here. In a small space like this, it's kind of important to not use like big stationary, like homeowner grade furniture because... It just one piece of that will just take up the entire room. There won't be anything left. So 
it's good to do like build-ins because with the build-in you get to build it the size that you want it and you get to build it out of the material that you want in our situation free material because that's all we can afford and you get the advantage of having storage underneath it so that storage underneath it is like a really really big thing so yeah we're gonna build a couch in here with a couple of end tables to maximize our storage space and to maximize our ability to do it for free so that's pretty much it for the update on the old tar paper shack. Uh, yeah, we'll make some more videos as we progress.